You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. This is the case of Clark versus Newby. Thank you. Good day, everyone. Ms. Clark, uh, you claim that you and the defendant, Mr. Newby, dated for only three months before you became pregnant with his baby. Uh, you say the relationship was moving forward until he left you for a woman you claim is old enough to be his mother. It is your belief that she is the reason Mr. Newby is denying paternity. Mr. Newby, you say the plaintiff was involved with another man at the time she became pregnant. You do not believe you are the father of her child and claim it has nothing to do with your new girlfriend, Ms. Faulkner. You also say if the baby is yours, you will fight for custody because you believe the plaintiff is an unfit mother. Now, Ms. Clark, tell me what happened when the defendant left you. He left me for an older woman, and I feel that she put it in his head that it's not his from the beginning because she thought I was messing around with some dude at her party. And you did come to my house no, with another guy. Yeah, I wasn't messing around with you him. You were though. dry humping on the side no, of my house. He was just dancing were like you? this or whatever. On there the, was no dancing whatever. at that but party. Anyways, Let's get no. some order in the court. Now, Ms. Clark, first of all, before there was ever a Ms. Faulkner, you and Mr. Newby had a relationship. Yes. I need you to take me back to that. Okay, Your Honor, when I met him, you know, I was in uh, drug use, but, you know, we were together for three months. He, he was in drug use. <laughs> And um, when he left me, I felt abandonment because when I was younger, at 13 years old, my dad had hung himself because of drug use. And then five years later, my mother had died at, when I was 18 years old because of cancer. So when he left me when I was seven months pregnant, he, I felt abandonment and pain and agony. So, so you and, stuck a needle in your arm. So when I was three months pregnant, I, um, yeah, I went out and used. And I am ashamed of that because, you know, and then I went to jail, though, for three months. And while I was in there, I had time to think that I wanted to be clean for me and my son. You know, yes. so... <laughs> so when I got out, when I was seven months pregnant, I got out, we were gonna be, a, you know, have a family. Mm -hmm. You know, so I was excited about that because I was felt that my son was gonna have a father and a mother, and instead... We were not supposed to be... She, it's all wrong. All right, I so... I told her from the beginning, when she first went to jail, she would call me. And yeah, I would talk to her because I was thinking that the baby might possibly be mine. I've had my doubts from the very beginning. She's constantly lied. She's cheated on me with her ex, like, what, three, four times? No, only like once. Okay, okay. She would go to the store Mr. for like. So, you Mr. Know... Newby, she cheated on you with her ex during the time of conception, during that yeah. same? Before, after. Okay, but excuse me, Your Honor, if, you know, you had doubts about, you know, being a father or whatever, then why'd you have this picture taken with me with the first ultrasound and being happy with about being a father? Well, yeah, because if, if it's mine, I would love it. Be that's you two here with yep. a sonogram picture. Mm -hmm. But and then when um when I first got the ultrasound, when she was working at McDonald's and he was working at McDonald's, he was, she was putting in his head, oh, prove it to me otherwise, prove it to me I otherwise. I didn't say prove it to me yes, otherwise. You, did. you were talking he, to he a guy He was showing named a picture Jake. of the sonogram you to everybody you at said, work. You said, and prove I said, to me why otherwise. are you showing a picture of a baby you don't even know is yours? Yeah, you said, that prove wasn't to a me secret. otherwise. And that wasn't a secret. I said it in front of okay, you, so you, in have... front of him, and in front of but his you family. Have right. Ms. Faulkner, I have to ask you, when he was showing the sonogram picture at work, were you in a relationship with him then? No, I was not. So why was it your business what exactly. he was showing? Exactly. Because and I was a friend of his. And you're old enough. I have always been a friend of his. But He's yeah. always been a really good friend of mine. Yeah, but you're old we enough my friends. Friends. Is it, Now, I want to hear more about this doubt. Mr. Newby, explain to me the other reasons why you feel like, despite this happy sonogram picture, this child may not be yours. Um, like... At first, when I asked about the DNA test, when we first found out she was pregnant, I was like, okay, yeah, I want a DNA test. She was okay with it. And then after the baby's born, I asked for it. She freaks out. She doesn't want to do it all of a sudden. Is that true, Ms. Clark? Yes, that is true, because I felt my baby was conceived the time that we were together. It wasn't conceived when I was with that other dude, because I was only with that dude for a week. But you do admit to cheating. Yes. And can you understand why Mr. Newby yes. may feel, I since you admit to that. cheating, that there could be a possibility? I do understand that, that. and someone I told else him is. that I understood that. So why not but nip it in the bud with a DNA test? Because I felt, you know, <laughs> why? And then even after, like while she was pregnant, after I had left her, she had sent me a message from her brother's phone and a picture of a baby. I was at work at the time when I got it. 
and he was talking about he's an uncle now. So I was thinking the baby was born. And then I looked, yeah, you know, I, had a I told everybody moment, at work, I, I ran home trying to get baby, a ride up there, but and she wait. was just playing. You sent him a picture of a fake baby. Well, it was a picture of the internet. It was on the internet or whatever. And I sent him the picture, but I was just upset and then she because questions why he, he had left me. You know, okay, like, he had left what me. What was your intention behind sending the picture of the fake baby? I need to understand that. Um, to see if he would like show any interest of seeing his son because he wasn't you doing that. You showed him a picture of a fake baby as if the baby had been born. Yeah. Yes. A newborn baby. I got a picture on my cell phone while I was at work. I showed my manager and ran home. I don't even think yeah, I clocked out or anything. Yeah, it was messed up of me, you know. yes. It was messed up of me, and I just wanted to see if he would show interest or whatever, and if, you know, the son, my son was born, if he would show any interest in coming to see him or anything. Did because he show interest in coming to see him? She wouldn't let me go up to the hospital. No, not, no. Even when the baby was born, you, she wouldn't let yeah, me go. Yeah, because I told she you. She wouldn't let me go afterwards because I, I have a girlfriend. Yeah, I told like, She He brought her to my doctor's appointment. That's disrespectful, OK? And then, and then I asked him, I was like, the day after my son was born, I said, you can come up here and see the baby, but do not have her drop you off or come to the hospital. He said, oh, no, I'm going to And what does it matter if now. I drop him off? I was the only one willing care. to give care, him a but ride. That's disrespectful. To see his own kids. I have that's kids. I know what it's like to be a single mom. And I would not so be with Jesse if he would not take care of his responsibilities. Oh, if you really wanted a father, that you would let him come and see the baby. That was regardless on who dropped him off. Okay, but my ex-boyfriend that left me for an older woman, you know, that's old enough to be his mom, is disrisrespectful to me to bring to the hospital. Don't hate because I look better than you and I'm older okay, than you, okay? Psych. Okay, okay psych. You but still anyways, look like you're pregnant right now, okay? I don't get what like, happened I don't to being all baby and Ms. water Fa waiting? I don't care. Miss Faulkner, I need to ask you. So, let's be honest. Did you ruin their relationship? If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Ms. Faulkner, I need to ask you. So, let's be honest. Did you ruin their relationship? No, I did not. This was way after they were over with. Was Jesse friends with your son? Yes, he was. <laughs> this is getting interesting. Why is it that you're so certain that Jesse is not Ms. Clark's? I never said I was certain. I said that there was doubt. That's all I said. I was not there when they were together and having all of that. All I said was, if you're going to be there, you want to be sure, especially since he lives in another state, because she likes to dangle the baby over his head. Oh, you can see him when she wants to. He's going to need to know if it's his or not to have viable Let me remind you, though, on. that you told the court that you would never be with a man that, that did not, take, did care not of his kid. take care of his kid. That is right. So, if Mr. Newby has reason to believe that he could possibly be the father, he has why been there. would you have any issue with him being I there don't. until he... Her son has been at our house. Out otherwise. Our house. Her son has been at our house. We have watched her son. Yeah, we have babysat for her. So that goes when, when, when he was else. holding up the sonogram picture, why'd you tell him to take it down? I didn't tell him to take it down. I said, why are you showing a picture of a baby you don't even know if it's yours? See, that's disrespectful. But then, wouldn't back. the same woman that wouldn't be with a man that didn't take care of his kids, wouldn't that same woman think to themselves, well, he may think this child is his, and it's great that he's um, proud of it, and, and if he finds out later and you that know it's what, not, honor? let him deal with it. And he, and I'm, he, I can, my mom. If I can, I mean, she can't be trusted. Minded, that's how I feel. Yeah. Now, Ms. Clark, how have you tried to get him in your child's life? I would call him and ask him if he can watch him or whatever. If he wants to see him, he said, I can't right now. I'm busy. That is not I true. want to take care even, of the baby. I tried taking care of the baby. He would not let me. Okay, you buy, how many yeah. diapers have you bought? You only bought two packs of diapers. You and haven't when even I, bought anything. When we bought anything, stuff for so. the baby, she refused. She said, because Joanne got so, it, yep, I don't she didn't want, want it. None of it. Because I bought it. She did not want to receive the gifts. I bought the baby stuff, and she did not but want to receive it. it's not your responsibility. It's his Our and money father. is combined. Um, yes. It's, it's together. together. There's a real it's relationship. It's together. not about the money. I don't care. But Mr. Newby, now, it is very convenient that you have Ms. Faulkner to kind of help you in your potential yeah, you responsibility. Your job, so. I want to know what you have done individually to help Ms. Nothing. Clark take care of the baby. What you have done individually to help Ms. Clark 
take care of the baby. Nothing. Have you helped to provide financially? Yeah, when I could, yes. If she asked, hey, I need diapers, I would get them whenever she needed. From my vantage point, there shouldn't be a thing that you wouldn't do for this beautiful baby. There, there's not. That's what I'm saying. Like, I wasn't working, so when she would call me an hour before she needed me to watch him, like, you know, hey, my, my buddy needs me to help pull weeds. I can make some money, you know? Mm -hmm. As a father, if he's the father, he should want to take him regardless of anything that he has to do or and anything to would. spend time with him. We even wanted, know? we were, she asked him to watch him last minute. Jesse said, no problem, but me, but we're fixing to go swimming. She got mad and wouldn't let us take the baby because she couldn't go swimming with us. No, yeah, I didn't want them, them, I didn't want us. them taking my yeah. son somewhere else where I don't know where but they're going. But if it's his son, why can't he take him? Because I don't know where you're taking him and I'm the most of so You got mad because you like, couldn't hang out with us. Why would I want to hang out with exactly. you? Exactly. Why did you want to come with That's us? What I exactly. Know too. So you were concerned as a mother that your son was going to a pool and he was so small. Yes. Now, could you have told them that? That I just really feel uncomfortable yeah, about I swimming? Yeah, I could have. I'm, but a, that's I'm not a mother with children yeah. of my own. I would, but I would ever do is hurt a baby. You're baby. not the mother of her child. But I would so not hurt so, anyone's so wait child. Wait one minute. Let me see. Wait let one me minute. State this. Wait I one minute. Have a son that I have wait lost. one moment. I would never do anything wait to hurt another moment. child. Wait one moment. Wait one moment. You're not my mother either. <laughs> so now. Let me tell you something. I am a mother of a small child, and I will be very honest. I am married to my husband, and the first time my child got in a pool, I wanted to be there. And I see mothers in, in, in out here in the courtroom not in their head. You taking my baby to a pool? I don't think it was appropriate for her to want to go, but I would have said to you guys, hey, the swimming thing, he's so little, Maybe could we do something else? I just feel uncomfortable. That's it. I think, I believe, am I articulating your position right? Because okay, so I'm not father, seeing in this situation why she just wants to hang out with you all <laughs> at the pool. I don't get that. No. It is admirable that they want to take your son and include him as a part of the family unit and get him to know Ms. Faulkner's kids. Mm. Don't just come snatch him up from the father when well, he's really trying to show interest and in take I him have, somewhere. And I have let him see him, you know. I took my son, I took my son over to their house, you know, but I don't want him going nowhere where I don't know about or going swimming without me or anything like that at three months old. This leads me to um, your claim that if it is determined that you're actually the father of her son, you would like to petition the court for custody no, of your no, child because you believe least, she's an yeah. unfit mother. Please tell me why you feel this way. How are you gonna be seven months pregnant and then stick a, you know, stick a needle into both of your guys' bodies, you know? Okay, but I Like, that baby had to go through now, that for no so... reason. She didn't even give him a chance. Now, Ms. Clark admitted that that was an absolute irresponsible exactly. action which was inexcusable. I heard her say that. I also heard her say that she has done everything she can to get clean. Now, have you witnessed her improvement? Well, yeah, it's court mandated. Of course, she it don't want to go back matter. to jail. Well, now, let me tell you, I've represented a lot of drug addicts when I was a criminal defense attorney. No court mandate gonna keep you from a drug when nope, you're addicted. Exactly. You have to make that's a what, decision as a human being that you are gonna be clean. I'm asking you, have you seen a change in her at all as it relates to the drug use? Do you see that? Yeah. Then we have to applaud her for that. We have to. Well, yeah, I'm glad she's clean. I tried helping her as much as I could. And then I have to ask you, how are you doing? If you are potentially this child's father, I want to understand where you are in life as well. Mm -hmm. Are you working? Uh, no. I currently just moved. And you are looking for work? Yes. Okay. Ms. Faulkner, are you working? I'm fixing to start working next week. I just moved to Florida. Okay, two people that's fixing to start working got a lot of nerve about to snatch a baby from its mother, and neither one of you got a job. You've accused her of being unfit. Yes, um, she collects a check, right? 
every month. The that SSI. don't mean I'm unfit. <laughs> what does that mean? That I get, you can't yeah, take I care of yourself, checked. but I do take care of myself. Care of baby. I buy, I buy all aunt. his formula. I buy everything he needs. I buy the him clothes. Buys I, the formula. I buy him everything. Sorry, in your she's eyes. just jealous. Like, in she your can't eyes. get over the fact that I'm not with her. No, it's not. I, I care less. That's I don't, the would not, of if you. If you were the last man on earth, I wouldn't want to be with you again. Are you kidding okay. me? Okay. You're worthless. <laughs> All right. She tries to break enough. the cycle. Are we ready to hear the results? Please. Because Please. I believe it's time for us to know. Jerome, do you have the envelope? I do. Thank you. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. As per these results prepared by DNA Diagnostics, In the case of Clark versus Newby, when it comes to three-month-old baby Richard, Mr. Newby, you are the father. <laughs> See you smiling. It's not a bad thing. You're I'm, happy. Yeah. Like I never tried to deny him. I just wanted some clarity. You did deny him. So. I will defend him in this. He did not tell this court he denied him. He told this court he had doubt. Well, to and me, that's he what him. this courtroom is about. Better to know the truth so that you can operate under truth than to constantly in your mind have this small amount of doubt circulating and it may affect the way you treat this child. So okay. now we know. Yeah, your Honor, exactly. I have a question. How are you gonna take care of him when you're all the way in Florida? That's what custody's for. Okay, but right? you're not taking Share my son custody. away from me. Yeah. Listen, this is a living, breathing, little person. You gotta get it together. I've tried working with him. I have not seen any evidence that you presented that would indicate that Miss Clark is an unfit mother. But I am a firm believer that fathers have a huge role to play in their child's lives. I want you to continue on your path I will. to healing I will. and being clean. And you too. Are we clear? Yes. Court is adjourned. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jerome, please go get these two parents and bring them up. Come on up here with me. Come up to the bench. Now listen, I will be checking on you. Yes, Figure out how to talk to one another, quit arguing, get over the fact that he's with her because what's done is done. And don't you let Ms. Faulkner run you. She yes. might be old enough to be your mother, but she's not your mother. Yes. You're a father. Are you clear? Yeah. Okay, I'm watching you.